Alex, this morning in Illinois, it is now illegal to sell assault-style weapons in the state. The assault weapons ban passed both chambers at the tail end of the lame duck session. And our Sydney Stallworth is live in Bellevue this morning with more on what the new law means for you. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning to you, Michelle and Rennie. That's right. You know, today the 103rd General Assembly starts from Illinois and they'll be swearing in some state senators and representative, but that it starts with the assault ban in effect in Illinois after it was debated and then passed in the House yesterday. It quickly made its way to the desk of Governor J.B. Pritzker, who signed it into law. And now Illinois is now the ninth state in the country to ban assault style guns. So here's what this new law means for you. Illinois will no longer allow the legal sale, transfer, purchase or manufacturing of dozens of brands and types of rapid fire rifles and pistols, 50 caliber guns and high capacity attachments. Now, if you own one of these types of guns, you can keep it, but you are required by law to register your weapon with the Illinois State Police. Now that includes the serial number, which police can now publish online to keep track of stolen guns. The law also keeps the legal age to buy a long gun at 18. Now, some Republican politicians are already being vocal about their intent to ignore this assault weapon ban and its requirements for registering guns. Governor Pritzker says it's all political grandstanding. We will not comply and you're not going to do a darn thing about it. No, I will not comply. So when you say you won't comply, does that mean you won't register your gun with? That is correct. I have no intention of registering anything. The reality is that the state police is responsible for enforcement, as are all law enforcement all across this state, and they will, in fact, do their job or they won't be in their job. Now, in the next half hour, we're going to hear how Metro East gun shop owners are reacting to this new ban and what the new legislation means uh, as far as changes for the state's red flag law. But for now, reporting live in Belleville, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side.